Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will be doing a first impressions on the new Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Um, their shade range extension with um, Jackie Ina. I will be using this foundation for the very first time. I only purchased one foundation and I am hoping that it is my perfect shade and because it's the only one I bought basically. So if you want to see me try this foundation for the very first time and hear my thoughts on it, um, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys at the end of the video. Alright guys, so let me just give you guys a little bit of a backstory into basically why I got this foundation. So not only for the fact that Jackie Ina helped to expand the shade range and I wanted to support that. Um, I also have been looking for my, I guess you can say perfect foundation shade and I wanted to see if I can find it within this shade range. Originally I was going to get the shade Butter Pecan and I was going to get that because um, I usually base my foundation shade choices on a number of youtubers like whenever they do their reviews of foundation so i use um Alyssa ashley as like a shade comparison and i sometimes use vicky logan and i also sometimes use shayla depending on what it is so i kind of use those three people as like my guide into what shade i should get so if i've learned that if i'm going to use for example Alyssa ashley I know that I need to go like a shade or two up from her. So I believe that Alyssa Ashley uses the color Mocha. So with Butter Pecan being the next shade up, I assumed that's the shade I should get. All right, so like I said, Alyssa Ashley was the color Mocha and the color Mocha has more of like a rosy undertone to it and I'm not like, I'm not a rosy undertone at all. Um, and then I assumed because the undertone of Alyssa w wasn't going to be a match to me, I decided, okay, well, maybe Butter Pecan will be the next shade that I can try um, because Butter Pecan has like a golden yellow undertone and for the most part, like, I'm like golden, kind of yellowish undertone. Um, but then when I tried it um, in the stores, it was really just, it was light and I felt like it was going to make me look ashy and I felt like it was going to you know go into the whole Fenty Beauty 370 category and even though I like that foundation it's just it gives me like an ash on my face that I don't really like so the next shade up from that is the color that I have today the color maple and that has like a neutral undertone to it but the thing about the neutral undertone on me I feel like sometimes it can make me look a little bit green I have the Bobbi Brown I have the Bobbi Brown foundation and I have the color Cool Golden in 6.25 and this foundation has a neutral undertone to it um, and although I like the foundation I just don't like the undertone to it because I feel like it makes me look green so I kind of don't really like neutral undertones for that reason so I was really skeptical about if I should even try to stick with the color maple because it has um the neutral undertone and i don't want to look green in all my photos so then um i went up a notch and i tried the color chestnut which now has a golden undertone we're back to we're back to the golden undertones now which is what i'm used to but the color chestnut chestnut was just a little bit too dark for me and you know, I'm like, ah, damn it, this is really hard. <laughs> I've been trying to stick to just the golden and yellowish undertone, undertone foundations, and they've been making me look really ashy and stuff like that. So I'm just going to try, so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to try maple, and hopefully it'll be a good match, and maybe it's the kind of neutral that will work for me, you know? Um, and yeah, so here we are today. All right, so it looks like this. Ooh, undetectable medium to full coverage foundation. All right, so right off the bat, it is kind of... Honestly, it is kind of looking like it's like the same like shade as um, the Bobbi Brown foundation, but the undertone for this looks a little bit like you know a little bit mm, like it's not going to be as green 
I'm really excited. Okay, we're gonna shake this up and then we're gonna get started. Honestly, like I'm not even the best at doing like first impressions or like reviews or any of that stuff, but I'm gonna try to talk through as I'm going and stuff like that. So I already primed my face. I used the MAC Prep and Prime, um, this little, little, little tiny one, um, the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base. And I'm just gonna do my base how I normally do my base, how I normally do my foundation. Um, and we're just, we're just gonna see. Maybe I might zoom you guys in a little bit. Ooh, that is mad close, damn. Don't mind my edges. Okay. So I zoomed you guys in a little bit so you guys can see my face so that you guys can see what it is that we're working with. So um, naturally my face is always going to seem darker than my body because I do have like hyperpigmentation. I do have some dark marks. I do have like natural, natural dark circles under my eye. It's not because I'm tired or any of that stuff. I just want to let you guys know. I do have natural dark circles under my eyes. Um, and I do kind of have like, you know, a little mustache, a little darkness around here. Like, you know, all us melanin girls have. So I'm um, just looking at my face right off the bat. I just want to show you guys like this is just my skin. All I have on here is primer, nothing else. So this is what my skin is looking like. Got some hyperpigmentation up here. Just a little bit of dark marks. I do have a breakout over on this side. Can't really see it. I got the dark circles under my eye. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys like this. This is the skin. And we're just going to try to match the skin to the body, to the face, and all that stuff. <sighs> Why am I so nervous? Like I said, this is the color Mocha. And this has a neutral undertone to it. Alright, has a pump. I'm going to pump some on the back of my hand. Alright. Okay. Alright, so I put a few pumps on the back of my hand. This is what it's looking like. Um, right off the bat, it's looking kind of hopeful. Like, it looks, it's looking hopeful. Like, when I hold it up to my face, it doesn't look like it's gonna be too dark or it doesn't look like it's gonna be too light. It looks like it might just, it might just fit. It might just fit. I feel like I didn't shake it up properly because I'm seeing, like, two two colors in there all right so I'm gonna do my foundation how I normally do my foundation which is I use a brush um, just to put the product all over my face really buff it out and then I go in with a sponge afterwards to really push the foundation into my skin um, so let's just dab into it and oh, that looks like a lot actually I'm just gonna put it just right here that's the first swipe let me look in my mirror that looks, that looks pretty good actually. <laughs> okay, um, just gonna put it on all over the face on this side. I'm just gonna do one side just to show you guys. This is literally like the perfect match. Do you guys? Oh. This is literally the part like, okay, I did one half of my face. Like here's the side that I did. Here's the side that I didn't. Do you guys see? This is the perfect shade. And when I blend it down my neck, look how, look how blended. Like look how much it, look how much it matches in with my neck. This is the perfect shade for me. If you guys have been watching my channel all summer basically you guys know I've been mixing my foundations together so this is such a big deal for me to have a foundation that actually matches me like literally matches me this is this is beautiful listen if you're not a makeup junkie then you have no idea <laughs> what this feeling feels like when you find something that matches you especially foundation it's literally like a big deal this is no honestly I wasn't expecting this to just really do something right now okay I'm doing the other half of my face
you guys you guys look look at my face oh my god okay listen I'm trying to okay I'm not trying to like over exaggerate like how I feel about the foundation like I don't do that but it's just very exciting for me to have such a great match to my face like it just looks so good it literally looks so good it looks like it's my skin it oh I just I literally don't even know what to do with myself right now I don't know how to act I like like I'm too I'm too much right now like okay let me get in like really close so you guys can see look at my skin do you guys see that look at my skin look at my neck look how much it just blends into like my skin it looks so I it looks it looks it looks freaking beautiful I'm going to put on like another like thin layer just to see how it like builds up and stuff so I'm just gonna put a little bit more on like just the dark parts of my cheek just to see how it holds up when it's built up a little bit more All right, so that is another layer of the foundation on the skin and it looks it still looks good it still looks like it's skin it still looks like it's just flawless it just it looks really it looks creepy good like it looks creepy good like sometimes like when you like see people on youtube and they're like reviewing a product you're like but is it really like does it really look that good in like real life and stuff like that and to me it does but the thing is i think it's just it makes it almost look like it could be your skin like the thing is if you take care of your skin if your skin is moisturized if you exfoliate if you do all that stuff you have a good skincare regimen you put this foundation on your skin it's gonna like make your skin look even more supple even more it, it'll just enhance what's already there while covering you know the little imperfections that you might have it looks absolutely it looks beautiful I'm gonna go in with my um, sponge now because I, I always go in with a sponge it's a dampened real techniques sponge I'm just gonna push the foundation into my skin like I normally do honestly I don't even think I need to do this step um, the only reason why I do this step sometimes is to either get rid of, you know, streaks or just really make sure the foundation is blended into my skin. But this blended so nicely into my skin that I'm like, do I even need the sponge? But it's habit. <laughs> I do this because it's habit. Wow. I'm, I'm impressed. You guys, I'm really impressed by this. I am really, I'm really impressed by this. The shade is absolutely perfect honestly I can't get over the shade it's just really good I never thought I would you know be a neutral type of undertone like I don't know I have to rethink some things maybe I am a neutral undertone but the neutral undertone has to be right it has to be a right kind of neutral undertone um I'm going to go and basically finish the rest of my face I'm going to do concealer I'm going to set it I'm going to do all that stuff I'm going to do a full face I'm going to come back and I'm just going to show you guys like what it all just looks like with a full face so um I'll be back in like an hour <laughs> you guys look at my face I just finished doing a full face of makeup I put everything on lat not lashes <laughs> and I am obsessed I am obsessed with the way my face looks I feel I look flawless I feel I look really really good I feel like my skin looks healthy and I, I still can't get over the fact that like this foundation is just so absolutely perfect for me like at first when I was like doing my concealer and putting all that stuff on I kind of felt like it was oxidizing a little bit um it, I'm like is it turning a little bit red because even on my hand a little bit it was kind of like turning a little bit but I think over time it kind of just like 
like it didn't oxidize basically it just kind of adjusted and with everything else that I did with the concealer setting powder bronze highlight a little bit of blush all that stuff I just feel like it just brought everything together it made me do a whole cut crease look on my eye that's just how good I felt about my skin it was just so easy to blend and it did really well with the concealer that I used I used the ColourPop concealer and I don't see that it you know is like you know doing like anything crazy with the concealer it looked like it worked really well together with the foundation you know how we have some foundations and then you use it with a certain type of concealer and it doesn't really want to like blend into the concealer properly um, but it looks like it did a good job it did a pretty good job um, this foundation right here is just like my, my it's my perfect foundation and like I can't even believe that I'm saying that right now but literally it's my perfect match you guys are seeing what I'm seeing right like I haven't done anything fancy with my camera like this is just what you're seeing is what you're getting um, and like you guys you guys can see this right <laughs> you guys can see what it is that I'm talking about it's such a good match me and I'm gonna like come a little bit closer so that you guys can see again um after doing a full face this is what my face still looks like i set it with powder i put on some highlight right up here i contoured and bronzed up my face a little bit put on a little bit of br bl brush put on a little bit of blush and like i still feel like my skin looks really really good it still looks healthy in terms of the foundation lasting however long it claims to last i don't even did i even read um, I don't know how long it lasts, but, but like, I'm not reviewing that. I'm just kind of going off of like first impressions, how I really feel. Honestly, like I wasn't sure that this foundation was going to match me, you know, in the past, you know, I have tested out other foundations and they've worked well, but putting it all over my face, there was just something about it that was just off, but I made it work with um you know highlighting bronzing and all that stuff but going right off the bat this foundation is such a perfect perfect match to me and uh i'm so happy i made this decision i felt like if i would have you know went with like butter pecan just for the fact that it had the golden yellowish undertones i feel like there would have been something about it that would have been off but i took a chance and i'm like you know what i'm gonna go for the neutral undertone because the shade looks like it's gonna match me really really well and I just kind of left the undertone out in this kind of situation but I feel like even though it has a neutral undertone it's not giving me that you know greenish neutralish undertone that like the other foundations like the Bobbi Brown foundation gives me okay so um, basically I'm now gonna share with you guys some of the foundations that I do have um, that I've been using or have been mixing together so that if you guys want to do like a comparison like if you guys are my skin tone you're thinking about like maybe you want to get um, the Born This Way foundation maybe in the color maple I, um, I'm just gonna share with you guys some of the foundations that I do have and I have been using but I've been also like mixing them so one of the foundations that I do have is a super stay 24 um, the Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour foundation and this is in the color 334 warm Sun and this is a good match for me but for me right now in the summertime it is just like a tiny bit like too like light for me um, so I have that there's also the Fenty the Fenty Beauty foundation and this was uh, in the color well it is and this is in the color 370 and this was the best bet for me to get because anything higher was a little seemed a little bit too dark but I still feel like when I put this all over my face it's just a little bit too light I've been also mixing the Maybelline fit me foundation in the color 340 and 330 mixing them together mixing them together to get a good match 340 is what I was using before but it came off a little bit too red and then I decided to get 330 um, just to mix in to make this a little bit less red but not you know have like the ashy ashiness of this color so I've been mixing these two together to get a good match and when they mix together they do create a really good base for me um, and this is just kind of one of my like like favorite foundations go-to foundations <laughs> and like I just mentioned I have been using the Bobbi Brown um, skin longwear weightless foundation with SPF and that is in the color 
cool golden 6.25 I like this foundation it's just the undertone comes off a little bit too olive for me I would prefer it not to come off too olivey or too green like the way it does um, but I still like the foundation. So I just wanted to share a few of the foundations that I do have ju just so that if you're watching and you want to make a comparison and you own some of the some of the foundations that I do have and you're maybe thinking about getting the Too Faced foundation in the color Maple, um, then maybe if you have this array of foundations like I do, maybe Maple would work for you the best, but I'm not too sure. You can always just use me as a comparison. I will insert, you know, a flash photography picture so that you guys can see what it looks like when the flash is on and when I take like, you know, my cute photos. But, um, I think that's all I want to basically talk about or that's all I want to share in this video I'm just it's such a good like foundation like it just matches me perfectly and I know I've said that like a million times in this video already but it's just it's so just such a good foundation my face feels my face feels light my face doesn't feel like it has like all this like foundation on it and I did put a good two layers I did build it up um, a little bit and my face still looks so flawless it still looks so just looks like skin it looks beautiful I'm so glad I made that choice um, but um, I'm gonna end the video here I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope this was somewhat helpful if you're thinking about maybe getting the Too Faced foundation um, I took a chance and I uh, uh, bought it and I'm very happy with my purchase and yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, if it was at all helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!